Hi seed keepers. I hope you all are enjoying this beautiful new season that we're in, in spring. Everything is sprouting and flowering and the earth is becoming green again. And it's a really special time of the year. And Miss Mickey and I have been thinking of you all every day and missing you so much. And we have been putting together some ideas, some projects and experiments that you can try at home with your family. And the beautiful thing about our earth and our, our animals, our plants, the seeds, the sun, the moon, the stars, all of these parts of our earth we can experience from wherever we are. So even though we're not at forest school, these are some ideas that can connect us all that we can be trying together and um, that might be really fun to do while you're at home in your backyards or exploring your neighborhoods or visiting the woods or gardens. So today I'm going to show you how to grow celery from um, the base of the celery after you cut off the top for eating. So you might have seen your family members or parents um, chopping up celery for maybe for soup or putting salad, something for lunch or dinner and they'll usually cut the top off and this bottom part we might throw out to the compost or feed it to one of our animals. I know the donkeys around here really like to eat this part so I'll bring it to them sometimes too. Um, so I'm going to show you how the celery, if we, if we cut it, we can actually regrow the plant and so we can eat the top and the bottom part is the part that will regrow and it's a pretty amazing thing to watch and shows us how in our earth all life wants to live and it's it's very resilient so even though I'm going to cut this whole top part off and you can see I'm leaving about you want to leave about one inch or two inches just estimating and chop that part off so it leaves the base and we're going to set that aside and this part will go in your meal or you can put it back in the fridge to save for later. And it's very simple. We'll just take a glass or a bowl and I usually like to get a clear one so it can get more light to it. And you can either just set your base of your celery in the cup or some people like to have it lifted and so they'll use toothpicks on the side and I didn't have any toothpicks but I did have sticks so you can also just snap off some thin sticks and push those in the side like this so it can set floating a bit and you may want to do it this way so you could watch the roots develop. It does help to be able to see the roots a bit better. And then you want to make sure that as you're growing your celery from the base, that it always has water coming up past where the roots will be growing. So I usually keep it pretty high. You can see that. And over time, you'll notice that there'll be roots that are starting to grow out the bottom. And out the top, you can kind of see where the new growth will start to come out right here in the center. So then I place this glass in a windowsill that has plenty of sun. And if you want to use, um, maybe your parents have a compass or if they have a, a phone that can get apps, you can download a compass and it can be fun to go around your house and see which direction is south facing and east facing and north and west and usually plants will like to be in the south facing um, or the east facing window just to get the most sun that they can. So I'll show you that I've been growing three. Let's see my first one is right here you can see it's the biggest. You can see how been growing out the top and then the roots are pretty small and they're hard to see. I don't know if you can see them. They're just tiniest little white growth. So they're growing a bit 
more slowly than, than the leaves are up top. Yeah, so I had, for this one I just set it in the water. I didn't have any sticks or toothpicks. So that'll work just fine too. So real quickly, I wanted to show you, in case you don't have celery at home and maybe you have potatoes, that you can also grow potatoes from your potato cuttings. And um, to do that, well, first of all, I'll show you. Have you all ever seen, if you have your potatoes out in the light for a while, they might grow these, these wild growths on the top of them. And um, these are called eyes. So let's see if you all can count them with me. One, two, three, four. And there's smaller ones here. Five, six, seven. So there's about seven eyes on that one. So if I were gonna grow that, I could just chop it so that it leaves about two or three eyes at least on each section when I cut it in half. So for these potatoes, let's see. You see all the eyes on this one. And this is actually, this was a potato that I had from the grocery store. And this is a potato that's a seed potato that was um, specifically grown to be more disease resistant and to, um, it was from a seed company. So if uh, any of you parents want a um, resource for where to get those from, just feel free to email me. And um, typically it's recommended to grow the seed potatoes rather than potatoes from the grocery because they can, they can be so much more prone to disease, but it, it is also possible to do it from your grocery potatoes. So on this one, I'll just want to make sure that I leave enough eyes. So you can see there's one, two, and three. And so I'm going to just cut it so that it leaves three eyes on one half and three eyes on this half too. And when we uh, plant them, you can then place them in the soil. You don't place them in water. Um, first, it's, it's up to you. Some gardeners will say to go ahead and let it sit for two or three days and let this heal over a little bit where it's been cut, that that can um, decrease the chance of molding. Um, but many gardeners will just plant it immediately after. So you can just make sure when you plant it in your soil that the eyes are facing up towards the sun and go ahead and cover the eyes too with, um, you can even use straw, that's what I like to do. And um, you, you wanna make sure it's not getting too much sun to it. So that's why you wanna keep, as it grows and as the leaves get taller, go ahead and keep covering it and keep covering Morning circle and Miss Mickey and I are thinking very much of Everest this week too because we'll get to sing him happy birthday on Thursday. He has a big birthday coming up. So thank you all for watching and hopefully we'll see you Thursday. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.